Hello and welcome to a new HiCAD short clip. In this video, I will show you the new features for drawing detailing in HiCAD 2025. Let us assume that in an assembly drawing, you would like to specify the article and drawing number of a part within an annotation tag. This was not possible before. That is why there is a new attribute in the text editor for the part that displays the drawing number. It is important that there is a correct link in Helios between the part, that is the KRA file, the drawing, that is the SCA file, and the article master. If a part is linked to an article master and an SCA file, but not to a KRA file, then the annotation tag remains empty. By the way, in older versions it could be difficult to move an annotation tag precisely and easily because it always jumped to the cursor. This behavior has now been adjusted so that the mouse jumps to the reference point, here for example the inflection point, while the tag remains in its position. This allows a very precise moving of the annotation tags. Previously, the point clouds were displayed completely in a section or detail and had to be adjusted using a clipping. Now, the point clouds are reduced directly to the specified sketch. When working with 2D details, please note that only the largest rectangle around the sketch will be limited. So if the sketch contains smaller sections or the like, these are not cut out. Another highlight of the major release 2025 is the possibility to display parts in hidden line views differently, namely to display individual parts in hidden line dashed. This means that you can now use the context menu under properties to specify whether the parts in a view are to be displayed in dashed lines. This can be done for an individual part or a part list. If the view is now switched to hidden line, the selected parts are displayed as dashed lines. This option is not yet available for quick hidden line views or in quick view representation. Finally, a small but useful feature. The dimensioning functions under 3D dimensioning have been adapted so that they can now be applied repeatedly. For example, you can choose the chain dimension function and start dimensioning. Once you have finished a dimensioning chain, you can cancel this repetition by pressing the middle mouse button. You can then start a new dimensioning chain. To completely exit the function, press the middle mouse button a second time, or press the escape key. This is intended to make dimensioning easier and avoid long distances with the mouse to the ribbon. And that's it for this HiCAD short clip. I hope you enjoyed it and wish you lots of fun designing.